Welcome to another video. Today we'll be testing out Deep Side, which is on Hugging Face and uses the new DeepSeek model to create websites. So before we get started, I just want to cover really, really fast DeepSeek V3 because this is a new model that is breaking the benchmarks. We have actually tested it out on Llama Coder and the results were disappointing. So I really want to see if this is a problem with the model because the benchmarks show that it's a lot better than Claude Sonnet 3.7, GPT 4.5. Really, they show that it's an amazing model. So it made no sense to see Llama Coder being so bad with it. So I want to test it out on this deep site that I have saw, that I have seen in previous this tutorial to be so amazing in its results. So the first prompt we are going to write is write an SEO optimized teaching page for transformer models. This is the first thing that we will try to generate. Let's click the play button and let's see the result. You can actually see it creating the code. And I have heard that you can actually see it generating the website over here. So at the same time, as we wait for that to happen, we can also see a preview of what V0 from Vercel and what Lovable has spit out for us in the past. So this is the tutorial page. Let me show it to you. So this is the transformer models from V0. Very nice looking page, uh, some basic information, but not really a lot of information in order to understand the models. It has this enroll now thing. It's like a landing page for a course. Here is the lovable result that is a lot better and also starts to teach you things. So this is a lot better, gives you academic papers, tutorial and courses, gives you, you know, an overview of what to do. So this is a lot better and this is absolutely amazing from uh, lovable. So what we're going to see is what deep site can come up with using deep seek V3 model. Uh, if you go into the previous video that I uploaded with deep seek coder, which is the Llama Coder essentially website, you will see that it was so, so bad, but we can see here actively building the website. This is amazing. This looks super good already, a lot better than what we previously seen. AI Academy architecture applications implementation. This seems super, super competitive guys. Super, super competitive. I, I guess, you know, maybe it was a problem of Llama Coder and the model is actually good. One thing that I want to tell you is also that this model is two times cheaper than DeepSeek R1 and it beats DeepSeek R1 in many benchmarks, especially on coding, like which was one of the main optimizations of DeepSeek R1. So I'm super excited for DeepSeek R2 because it's also very cheap to use and generate things. And I think it's going to be amazing. It's going to be state of the art, open source, very cheap to use. You know, I'm really excited. The next prompt we will be testing out after we check the result is going to be this SEO optimized SPX 500 calculator. But again, we're going to wait for this generation to happen. Again, this is a little slow. You got to understand that, you know, DeepSeek uh, running uh, requires a lot of resources. And this is, uh, you know, deep site on hugging face. It's free for people. So it's a lot slower. And that's understandable, guys. This is this should be okay with you. But you can really literally host DeepSeek through APIs using Open Router and just host it on your computer locally by using the API. Not actually host, use it. So again, that would be okay for you, I think. So we're waiting for the result to come out. And while we wait, um, so I'm going to edit till we had the result available. Okay, guys, so this is the result of DeepSight. It looks amazing, guys. Look at this, Mastering Transformers. Uh, watch demo. What are Transformer models? This is, guys, I think this is better than even lovable. This is amazing. Look at the coloring. Look at all of these things. Wow, this coding thing. Oh my God, this is amazing. This looks beautiful. And for a, for reference, I have also tested it out with Gemini 2.5. Go watch the video on my channel to see exactly what Gemini 0.5 Pro is. And it looks better even than Gemini 2.5. So this is amazing. Great, great website. This is amazing. So we click new and we move on to the second prompt. So the second prompt is this SEO optimized SPX 500 calculator. So let's run this prompt. Let's check it out. I want to show you the preview of uh, V0 and of Lovable. 
So let me do just that right now. So this is how V0 SPX500 calculator looks like. Very nice, very good calculate returns. Boom, calculate returns. It has this graph, this uh, information here looks super nice. And I think it's also adjustable for mobile view, etc. So that looks nice, lovable, even better. It's absolutely amazing. Super dynamic, changes the curve, curve is interactive. Dollar cost averaging, again, super dynamic, calculate returns, boom. Absolutely amazing. Amazing website, super in-depth, super amazing, super great. This is literally so insane. Uh, FAQ, it's just amazing. So we're going to actually go ahead on Gemini. Okay, so this is deep site. We actually get the result and this is the calculator. Doesn't look so amazing. I, I like the animations, but I feel like there is something missing, especially when you compare it with Lovable that has this calculator here, which is absolutely amazing. This is literally insane. And also the calculator of Specs 500 from V0 is very good as well. Gemini 2.5 Pro is actually a complete failure on this prompt. But I feel like DeepSight went and did a good website, but it didn't go a step further like it done previously. But again, it doesn't look bad. Maybe with a better prompt, more in-depth prompt, it could actually, uh, you know, do, do that. It feels like uh, Lovable has a pre-planning stage. Same with V0, they do some pre-planning. And these are not just models, but if we had to compare with Gemini, yes, of course, DeepSight is a lot better, but we don't also know what exactly the prompt of DeepSight is. So it's more of a competitor with Lovable and V0 than Gemini 2.5, because Gemini 2.5 is just like a base instruction to the model. But in all honesty, it looks good, it looks nice. And again, this is not a thinking model. While Gemini 2.5 Pro, is a thinking model. So we've got to understand the difference. And I gotta say, it's a good model. And R2 is going to be even more amazing, especially the previous prompt, it rocked it. So yeah, I think this is this is something worth trying. You you should go ahead and check out DeepSight. I think it's worth it, especially compared to Lama Coder and the trust we've seen out of it. If you have not seen it, the video will be uploaded in the next like 48 hours. This is more worth it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.